Hey guys, so today what I'm gonna show you is enhancing a scan or a photograph of a signature, preparing it for digital use. What we're gonna use is uh, Photoshop. Let's search for a signature. So let's see this one. Um, from the Declaration of Independence of the United States. Okay, let's just save this image. Let's open this image in Photoshop. There. So, the signature of John Hancock. We're gonna get this one. Let's use the lasso. Copy and paste it into a new document or a new canvas. Okay, here so I pasted it here so imagine that this is your uh, scanned signature and that you want to clean it right uh, you want to convert it into a high resolution ready for use in digital documents like in Adobe Acrobat or in any other software so our goal here is to make this signature uh, black um, black foreground or the signature itself is pure black and the background is transparent and the file will be in PNG format so first we need to make this a high resolution so let's make it a size of an HD which is 1920 there don't worry about the um, artifacts which is the looks like a JPEG artifact when it's low resolution because the next thing that we're gonna do is to apply a threshold adjustment to the image so go to image adjustments and threshold and you can see that um, the image is converted to pure black and white and you can simply adjust the threshold level so the higher you go to the right the more it includes the other artifacts right so basically stay here in the flat area press ok and now what we're gonna do is to remove the other uh, the other parts that we don't need so for here you can use the eraser uh, the pencil so just um, make the pencil bigger so as you can see when we use threshold that the image is converted to pure black and white because you can see that it's really pixelated well apart from this one so use the lasso again simply remove the other artifacts so the important thing to remember here is we need to flatten this uh, layer so that everything will be in black and white and there is no transparent areas so just uh, press ctrl E so that it will that layer will merge into the layer below and select all the image and copy it and now we're gonna paste it here in a new alpha channel so now that we have this alpha channel activated 
we press control click so that all the white parts will be selected and now let's go back to the layers and control shift i to invert the selection to select only the black areas which is the signature itself and now we're gonna copy control c and create a new layer and press Control shift v to paste it in place so now let's hide the background and you can see that we only have the signature and with a transparent background now we're gonna put this in the middle so just um, no instead of putting it in the middle let's crop it select the signature by pressing control click on the layer and crop it so the reason why we resize it first into a high resolution like 1920 is when we use this signature in the documents usually we make it smaller and when we make it smaller the the jaggedness of the pixels won't be visible anymore okay there so next is we're gonna save it into a PNG format let's go to file and save as and choose the type as PNG save it and choose the large file size so automatically if you save this as a PNG file and it will preserve the transparent areas let's just copy this image go back to Photoshop so for example this is your document and this is the signature let's paste it here and we're gonna resize it it's automatically uh, resizing it uh, proportionally or the aspect ratio is locked so just double click this there so see when you resize it you wouldn't be noticing the jagged edges it seems smooth right that's how you clean up uh, signatures or if you have line arts just use image adjustment threshold and then use the alpha channel to select only the black areas and then you can delete all the other uh, white areas and then save it as a PNG with a transparent background so I hope you've learned a thing or two. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye.